Well, y'all, good news. At least, it's a start. Um, I called and got a human at Adult Protective Services. And I talked to this lady. I guess she's an intake person for about 30 minutes. Just trying to fill her in on what's going on. And um, so then what she told me was is that she would take the information to the supervisors and they would review it. And if they thought they needed to, they would give it to a social worker. So then, a social worker called me. Adriana, sweet young woman, took down all the information that I could give her. And um, she told me, she said, now... Um, I don't want you to worry. People are always worried that when they make a report, the person you make it against is going to know that you did it. And she said, we never divulge that. I told her, I said, I don't care if you do divulge it. But anyway... The person is going to know who did it. So, I just got here and I called Terry and um, he didn't answer neither one of his phones. Not, it's not neither, it's neither, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, he didn't answer any of them. So then I called back, and he answered, and he sounded give out. I said, what's wrong with you? He goes, oh, the lady from the place just left. I had my interview. Y'all, I can't remember if it was yesterday or it might have been the day before, but it was not any farther back in the week than that. So, I can't wait to see what she had to say. Now, she told me, you have to understand that I know you're making the report, and um, and that's a good thing. She said, however, sometimes we go and interview somebody, and they say something like, oh, it's not really that bad, or... Oh, you know, it's it's really okay. And she said we have no choice if they do that but to walk away. And I said, I understand that. I said, I told him that all you have to do is be honest and let her know exactly what's been going on. Because most of um, the report I made, oh, okay. I told y'all I have to block people in over here. Um, was based on what he told me. Now, she did call me quite a while back and she didn't call me. I called there looking for Terry. And she used to answer his phone all the time. His house phone. And one day I said, Why are you answering Terry's phone? Well, uh, uh, I said, You know, you really shouldn't be answering his phone unless he asked you to. 
Well, she knew I would ask Terry, so she said, well, no. But anyway, during that phone conversation, she was, she started in telling me all this stuff about Terry. And I think I told y'all that before. And I just stopped her. I said, wait, wait just a minute. I said, I know Terry and I don't believe any of that. Um, can you see, honey, that I'm coming out right here? Thank you. Um, so anyway, um, I just told him, you gotta be honest with them. The lady said she'll, they'll just walk away and that'll be the end of it. And so I don't know what he said to the lady. Um, but I hope that he was honest. And of course, I won't be able to find out anything except what he tells me. And he called me yesterday just freaking out. I'm getting evicted. Well, y'all, I knew that was not true. But I was not going to talk to him about it. I said, you better call your daughter. So we hung up. He's been doing that. I, just hanging up. But anyway, I waited a while. I wanted him to get his act together and calm down. In the meantime, I sent ronnie a message i texted her and i said well terry just called me and told me he's getting evicted but i said i don't believe that and so i called him later and i said well have you calmed down he goes yes he said i'm not getting evicted that paper said something else i said well what did it say and he goes I don't know. I put it in my file. I said, okay. I knew you were not getting evicted. I said, Terry, this is... You stress yourself out. Because, one, you don't read anything that they leave for you. And I know you're not illiterate. And you jump to conclusions. You don't have all the facts. You don't think about things like when she says, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> he hadn't got anything. His dog and his recliner. I mean, that's it. There comes Mariah! <laughs> she just started wagging that tail. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. She's just running out to the van. Don't pull daddy down. Okay, y'all. I'll talk to you later.